In a perfect world, when would you want to retire? Because my, my question is when I buy a business from somebody, the hardest thing is a seller like you. And you know why? Because you've been involved in it for so long. It's like, this is almost like your second wife. You've been, you've been married to this business for so long, 50 years. So I come in, I go, hey, let me restructure the debt. Let me do the thing. And then in your mind, you go, man, that seems really good. But then what I find is the sellers say, well, what am I going to do with all my extra time? And so they hold on to the business for three more years and they call me and they're like, is that deal still good? Bro, what the freak? Just having some mastermind water. We just wrapped up the mastermind. Actually, it was so epic, guys. Uh, unbelievable. I would give you a recap of the mastermind. We had Big Boy from Outcast come, but unfortunately, you won't watch that whole video. We've done like recaps. Actually, you want to see a video that you did not like? I'll show you a video you guys didn't like. Check this out. It's Jamil and I doing our TV premiere party. We had Outlaws from Tupac's band come and perform. You guys don't care about that, so it didn't get great views. So this is unfortunate, but here's what we're going to do today. Today's video is actually me talking to a seller about negotiating their trucking company that's generating about three and a half million dollars a year in revenue. Now, that seller's been in that business tied up for 50 years. Eric, myself, we go to the appointment with the seller. Instead of just saying, yo, I got the dopest video of all time, I gotta pull out an IG reel, right? Or a YouTube short or something that's gonna tease you guys because that's what has to happen with the human brain. I gotta tease you. Then what we're gonna do, we have to unfortunately chop up these YouTube videos. I gotta give you six to seven minutes because that's the only thing that you wanna pay attention to. While you're, That's probably about how much time it takes you to go to the bathroom or how much time it takes you for you to take a shower. Are you listening to me while you're in the shower? On that YouTube video, the one you're watching right now, there will be a link down below, and that link will direct you to the full video. When you're done with that video, do me a favor. Truly, I wanna, I wanna know, what did you like about that video? What did you not like about it? And more importantly, what do you wanna learn now? Because this, this is a business that I'm actively negotiating. I wanna know, as I'm actively negotiating with the seller, what should I bring back to you so you can get educated on creative structures. Now, if you guys wanna learn how to do this with real estate, there's a link down below. You guys can join the community um, and we'd look forward to doing deals with you. And I hope that you enjoy this video. What would you wanna see from me? I mean, it doesn't, I don't know. I, I'm on the fence of whether you're ready to sell your business or not. Seems like you kinda of wanna stay involved. Uh, I was looking at it. Uh, it's, uh, I, would, I would step back uh, knowing that it, it, it's, uh, it's gonna succeed. It's you know, uh, it's, it's good because. Oh yeah, this is your retirement. It's your retirement. Yeah, you build this up. You get uh, I get my retirement, but at the same same time, they have their own business. My other son wasn't able to make it, but they do good. But then it'd be something else they can have later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they, yeah. If they wanted to step up, say you know what, let, let me take over on some of this stuff, some of these things. Because uh, again, my my daughter-in-law, his wife, uh, does a lot of the bookkeeping that she's real good on. For your business. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here's what's really happening. I'll just be honest with you. I, we've tried to get my dad out of his business. He's too stubborn. So my dad's so stubborn, he won't even go to the dentist. He's so, he's so tied up in his business. How old is he? 65. Is he? Your age. I might have to hang out with him. Yeah. <laughs> he's stuck in it. He, he's, a, he's, a cab, he's a cabinet contractor. So what happened is a couple years ago, I told my mom, I was like, mom, you need, I, you need to stop working. And she's like, well, I want to travel, but I want to travel with your dad. And I go, dad's never going to leave his business. So my mom's now traveling around the country, visiting my other siblings, like my sisters and my brother in other states. And my mom's going and enjoying travel without my dad. And it's like, it's, it, you, got, you got to retire, my friend. You worked your ass off 50 years. And, and saying that, you know, I, my grandfather, art worker, but he didn't work to stop working Work stopped him from work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He wasn't able to do much. And I see my dad getting to that point to where he's done so much for his family, showed us ethics, showed us hard work, showed us the hustle, gave us a good, a good life, but he doesn't want to stop. And I don't want to see the day where he, the work makes him stop. It's, yeah, it's like the work stops your dad from actually living. It's like that light at the end of the tunnel of retirement with your wife and showing her things she's never seen before. This business is actually keeping you from doing that. Oh, but I was hoping it would get me to that. It should. <laughs> and, I, I think, I think. Uh, my finance art. Besides my finance or what I'm doing on my end. Yeah. I don't have the finances. Yeah. And plus the other thing too is like, if you got, if you're creating a product and you, you're creating a bag line and you got your own stuff, it's like a single focus is going to expand that. Right. But if you divide your focus into two different businesses, it becomes a problem until you maybe get, maybe like a, for me, I have a management team. So 
If I come in and I buy a business, I can step out of that business in three months because my management team takes it over and then I go buy the next business and my management team basically follows me like three months later. At some point, you'll probably get to that. But right now, it's like you got all these amazing opportunities in 2023 that are gonna blow up for you. And if you divide your focus between two companies, what's gonna happen to your bad company? Is it gonna get the attention it deserves? And probably get back burned. It get back burned. I was lucky, I watched my dad, I was, it's the same reason I never drank in my life. Not that drinking's bad, but I, I, when I was in sixth grade, I saw this guy drinking, he had lost control of himself. And I was in sixth grade. And, and it was like my brother's older brother, or I'm sorry, my friend's older brother. And I looked up to this guy and he lost control. He cut his hand and he was drunk, right? And so something in my brain told me, don't ever drink. And I never drank in my life. Awesome. And there was a moment, same thing with my dad, when I was at like 25 years old, I saw what was going on with my dad and his business. And I said, my dad does not own his business. His business owns him. And it was like this thing that scarred me in my brain. I go, I can, I'm only gonna own, I'm gonna own businesses and I'm gonna figure out how do I make them run really efficiently so that the owner can step back and go, I own that, but it doesn't own me. And so the, way, the approach I have when I buy a business is I look at you and I go, hey, I'm gonna come into this business, I'm gonna bring resources, I'm gonna bring my know-how, and I'm gonna keep you on the payroll, but I'm gonna kick you out in six months or 12 months, or maybe kick you out where you come into the business five hours a week, you know, and that's it. And you come in, you check on things, you make sure everything's good, but you get a check every single month. And you create this business as this should have been, which you should have been getting a check every month and not been here five years ago.